Since the 20th century, humans have been fascinated with the idea of stepping foot on Mars. With many similarities to Earth, which include a Martian day, or Sol, being very close to a day on our planet, as well as a surface area which is only slightly less than the amount of dry land on Earth, our neighboring planet has always been the perfect candidate for humanity's first planetary mission. With several proposed human missions to Mars by both government agencies and private companies, such as SpaceX, several challenges first lay ahead before mankind can take on such an historic leap. The atmosphere on Mars is mostly carbon dioxide and extremely thin, about 100 times less dense than Earth's, with no breathable oxygen. There's no water on the surface to drink either. The landscape is freezing, with no protection from the sun's radiation or from passing dust storms. The keys to survival will be technology, research, and testing. Getting astronauts to the Martian surface and returning them safely to Earth is an extremely difficult engineering challenge. SpaceX's Mars plan includes sending several ships to the Red Planet over the next decade, with goals which include finding the best source of water, along with sending equipment to build a potential propellant plant. At that plant, water and carbon dioxide would be converted into liquid methane and liquid oxygen, which could fuel SpaceX's rocket engines for further use. With intentions to set up a transportation system for humans and cargo traveling to the Red Planet, this strategy would allow for a two-way travel system between Earth and Mars. It would also serve and provide resources for the assembly of a new colony on the planet. In order to function at all, though, the colony would need the basic utility to support human civilization. These would need to be designed to handle the harsh Martian environment and would either have to be serviceable whilst wearing an EVA suit or housed inside a human habitable environment. For example, if electricity generation systems rely on solar power, large energy storage facilities will also be needed to cover the periods when dust storms block out the sun. If the colony is to scale beyond a few people, systems will also need to maximize use of local resources to reduce the need for resupply from Earth. Companies such as SpaceX will have to work together with NASA, along with the agency's international partners, if the goal is to build an extensive colony. Several companies have already begun designing concepts for Mars habitats. They have proposed orbitable outposts similar to NASA's Lunar Gateway, which is an in-development space station that would orbit the moon and serve as a waypoint for ships. It would also help reduce the amount of fuel needed for return trips to Earth. With NASA also considering the use of its own Space Launch System Mega Rocket for Mars, the biggest challenge continues to be budget constraints and years of delay. Perhaps our best shot is to rely on a joint human effort to achieve what has never been done before. We shall see what the future holds.